Hi guys, I'm Lisa from WTF Chip Lisa Tarot. I get messages through songs, so when you're but in, when you're but out, like, share, subscribe, and follow. Drop a tip, cash up, the WTF Lisa Tarot, please, and uh, thank you, that would kick ass. Shop my stores, WTF Lisa, eBay, it's random, uh, because that's eBay. <laughs> and WTFLisa.com, candles, sage, incense, soap, jewelry, handbags, perfume, and personal readings, phone, video chat, and pre-recorded video, your choice, check it out, WTFLisa.com. I have Get Your Gun by Marilyn Manson. I can't say the beginning thing. Something, your righteous hand. I can't say the G word. I'll, I'll cuss all day long, but I won't say that. It's weird, but I physically can't. Do I explain that? Uh, no. Ah, uh, I eat innocent meat. The housewife I will beat. The pro-life I will kill. What you won't do, I will. Get your gun, Marilyn Manson. Not excited to have him on my playlist. I used to listen to this back in the day. But uh, his whole, you know, rapey thing is not cool. But there is a message in this song I get a lot for tarot. So there's a reason. And a lot of times, you know, if you ignore your enemy, they're just going to get worse because you're ignoring them. And it's that same vibe where the masses just sit and they play on their phones and watch TV while shit goes to hell. And then they're like, oh, someone else will fix it. No, honey, you're the one who's supposed to fix it. Pseudo morals work real well. Talk shows for the week. You're the one who's supposed to fix it. You're the adult. You have no savior coming because you don't deserve one. You don't do anything. Emperor before swords. Uh, you're the one who's supposed to do something, buddy. You're the grown man, emperor, whether you are a woman or man. You're the adult for swords. So sitting there doing nothing, four of pentacles, you get nothing. While everything, five of swords, two of swords, goes to shit. And then you're while you're sitting there, four of wands, knight of cups, I wonder who's going to help me. But five of cups, no one is, honey. Knight of Swords and Death. You have to do it by yourself, or you can just sit there and rot away in your grave. That's the vibe. Get your gun. Get your gun. Want me to save the world, but I'm just a little girl. Same vibe is you have the narcs in your life, where you just have people all the time that... They want you to do shit for them for free, but when it's time to actually do something, they're like, no, I can't, I have to sit here and sweat some more. Uh, I don't know, it's just that vibe too. But we all have people that want something for nothing. I get people asking me all the time, can you do free readings for me for hours and talk about my life, but uh, how dare you want me to pay you? Even though those hours spent, you could have been at work or doing something you like to do. No, you will sit there and listen to me. And then tell me words I want to hear. And if you don't, I will keep talking to you for another fucking hour. You know, that kind of stuff. People do that with readers. That's why we, for me, I have a limited amount of time. I charge by time. 30 minutes, you can talk for 30 minutes. That's what you pay for. Anything more, you pay for that too. Because I'm not spending hours of my life. And then I can't pay my internet bill because I could have been working while you were talking to me for three hours. You know, people do that to readers a lot. Uh, not all of you. Uh, some of you understand. You're paying for someone's time. Because <laughs> they could be doing anything else in the world, you know. We do this because we're called. But when it comes with, like, personal stuff, you can't expect someone to take out three to four hours of their day to listen to you. No, you need to think a little more. Just these are babies, narcs, alpha males. You know, most of them, they're ridiculous. They're the epitome of bad health. They're all bad looking. They act like assholes. They're the type. And these people drive me nuts. You'll be in a grocery store waiting in line. There's a long line. And there's always some asshole. And I don't care what side of the political line you're on. Some of them will say, We wouldn't have a long line if it wasn't for Biden. We wouldn't have a long line if it wasn't for Trump. Uh, neither of those gentlemen have anything to do with their long lines. They're off doing whatever they do. The long line is because a lot of people decided to shop at once. And there's always lines. And they, need, they don't have to do with either political party. Everyone just wants to blame someone else and then wait for someone to rescue them. No. How about you just look at what's in front of your face and then clean it up? Three of Pentacles. Look at what's in front of your face and clean it up. Because the lover, Six of Pentacles, Nine of Wands sitting on your butt doing nothing or making it worse by running your mouth. Three of Swords ends things. People don't want to help you. People don't want to deal with you. You don't get to just drain and leech and expect people to be like, Yay, drain and leech some more. I have one doves cry. Dream up, you can, a do uh, dork. <laughs> oh my god, I'm trying to say when doves cry by Prince and it's coming out bad. Animals strike curious poses. They feel the heat. 
the heat between me and how can you just leave me standing? Same vibe. These people that want to leech off you. When you need help, they are nowhere to be found. In fact, most of the time, they're making jokes. They're making it worse. They're like, oh, things are hard for you. How about I do this? And like, you know, for example, one experience I had a few months ago is having account issues uh, left and right on Twitter. Yes, I reference Twitter a lot. Why? I just try to stick to the same examples and things people are aware of. So Twitter, I was having account glitches. Why? Because since Elon took over, that's what it is. I had hacking issues going on while I was channeling, and I had this guy who was just a casual internet acquaintance just get weird on me and go on and on. And I'm like, dude, the best thing you could do, basically, and this the conversation was different, but I was like, you just walk away, leave it alone. And he's like, no, that's not good enough. And he got all his friends to report me, which banned which, you know, permanently or temporarily suspended my account. And then I had more glitches because I was banned. So it was ghosted. And it really made my business take a fucking hit because an internet acquaintance couldn't just leave me alone when I asked. No, no, it's really important. I exert my will on you and make things 10 times worse. So because I told you things I were talking about have nothing to do with you that you need to walk away and just leave this alone and your reaction is no I'm going to get a group of people together we're going to report you we're going to ban your business account and make it really difficult for you to work and make a living because I don't understand the words this has nothing to do with me please just walk away and have a good night and a lot of you have people like this you know I have this thing for whatever reason I just trigger people whether good or bad some people love me some hate me and that's what it is and the ones that hate me will have to say something incredibly dumb to me. Uh, and then I'll say, okay, cool, buddy. You have a good day. And they, again, they're like, no! You don't tell me to have a good day. In fact, I will not have a good day. And then they pee themselves. They break something. They're like, look what you made me do by saying have a good day. And I'm like, I literally didn't make you do anything. You're the one who came at me screaming. And I told you not to have, have a good day. And then you're the one who peed yourself and did shit. I didn't do that. You did. But they just don't want to be accountable. So you just got a bunch of adult babies surprised that you think they're an idiot. But when you act like an idiot, people see you as an idiot. Vacation and slander. These are idiots. <laughs> they're, I, to me, the vacation, for me, I get a lot of people that they don't have anything to do with anything. They're a vague acquaintance. And then I'll be channeling or I'll be doing something terribly or just I'll be talking about something that has zero to do with them. But then they're like, why are you saying this? And I'm like, I am literally not fucking talking about you or to you. No, no, no. I decided out of nowhere I'm mad. So I'm going to continue on and make everything worse. Make you think I'm an asshole. And then I'm going to say you're a bitch for looking at me like I'm dumb. Kind of story of my life. When doves cry. What I chalk it up to is very bored people who are upset that people aren't looking at them. And so they insert themselves in narratives. They don't belong. And when you won't play pretend with them, they just can't handle it. And that's been the story of my life. But I attract narcs why I'm an empath. And I'm kind of a dark empath. As, uh, I'm the only decent person in my fucking family. <laughs> Everyone else is terrible. So it's, you know, I know I have an uncle and aunt and a cousin that are cool. But they always, they, and they, and my cousin told me they just always kind of stayed separate from the rest of the family because they're nuts. And I'm like, you guys are like the only sane people. Uh, I'm a little wonky, but you're born into darkness and all you want to do is help and just people just constantly trying to kill you or just, you know, they can't just leave you alone. Like I said, I told the guy, this has nothing to do with you. You're a casual internet acquaintance. Leave it alone. And he was like, I will not leave it alone. I will ruin your business account here. I will slander you. I will act weird. And then I'll pretend like it's your fault. I told you to leave it alone. So they treat you unfair, and then they're surprised, guidance, confused, that uh, you fucking hate their guts. Right? Misogynistic people head in the clouds. Their will, they have to force their will on you. A lot of people do partying, they're just pill poppers and druggies, so they think they're in the right. But it's like, uh, why don't you just stop popping pills with alcohol and think for a fucking second? I don't know, when doves cry, it's just people purposely being a dick for no reason because their own shit. Eight of Wands, Nine of Cups, but Seven of Swords. People looking to fight, and they're manifesting a fight. So Two of Cups, no matter justice, how kind and civil you are to them, like the example of, okay, cool, buddy, not talking about you. You have nothing to do with this. Have a good night. I have all star by Smash Mouth. Somebody once told me the world is going to roll me. I ain't the sharpest tool in the shed. 
Ten of Wands, no fucking shit. If someone says, I'm not talking about you, have a good night, you don't scream at them. She was looking kind of dumb with a finger in her thumb in the shape of an L on her forehead. If someone tells you, just go ahead and have a good day, it doesn't mean you freak out and go, I will not, and then pee yourself and break shit and, you know, do a bunch of stuff yourself and then be like, how dare you make me do that? You fucking did it, dummy. I just, I am perfectly entitled to think you're an idiot. Eight of Cups, Eight of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles. I don't know if they're thinking they're getting some kind of thrill or gain, but Lovers, Three of Pentacles, you know, and they tell a different story to their friends. King of Pentacles, that bitch temperance did all this, but for some of them, Sun, Ace of Swords, Ten of Wands, the more they carry on, Five of Swords, and, I mean, Five of Wands, Five of Swords, the more it's kind of obvious, or I guess maybe for a while people sympathize with them and they'll help team up to bring you down until they realize, oh wait, no, this guy's just a fucking asshole and I just totally fucking tormented somebody for no reason. Some of them will never apologize. They will just sit there and still be a dick. It, it is what it is. Hey now, you're an all-star. Bet that felt real good yelling at someone who told you to have a good night, didn't it? But they'll just keep slander. Just ignore, unbothered, snitch. These are people, they have nothing going on, so they have to make up shit and insert themselves in narratives that make no sense.